It can feel like a bit of an oasis on the normally bustling streets of Manhattan, a community garden on Elizabeth Street which is adorned with statues and other artwork. Some believe the future of this garden played a pivotal role in Tuesday's primary election where incumbent Margaret Chin leads her closest opponent Chris Marti by just 200 votes. So this garden alone in this neighborhood it was a huge issue. Um, we got over 80 percent of the vote in this neighborhood and in Soho and it could be solely attributed to this. Chin supports building affordable housing on this lot which would spell the end of this garden in its present form. The debate over the need for more affordable housing has been a signature issue for Mayor de Blasio and Chin agrees. Of course, I mean, especially for our seniors. We're talking about in my district alone, there's over 5,000 seniors on waiting lists for senior housing and over 200,000 across the city. We need to build affordable housing. The district covers lower Manhattan from Soho all the way down to the Battery. It's a diverse area that includes the wealthy financial district, but also public housing on the Lower East Side. Chin believes other issues played a factor in why the vote was so close, including development between the two bridges on the Lower East Side. One of Chin's other opponents in the primary is claiming voter fraud among Chin supporters in Chinatown using post office boxes to vote. What we have is people deceptively registered at post office boxes where they don't live in order to vote in a place where they do not live. He is trying to intimidate the Chinese vote, the Chinese American vote, and that is unacceptable. The Board of Elections says it's focusing on certifying Tuesday's vote right now, not investigating allegations of fraud. The campaigns of both Marti and Chin say that they are confident if there is a recount that they will prevail. However, insiders say there could be as many as 800 uncounted ballots, which could make a big difference in a race that's separated by just 200 votes. In Chinatown, Zach Fink, New York One.